what about the potential challenges of course giving two uh, higher level papers is not going to be an easy task even though there is going to be overlapping there is always some additional stuff in sa7 that needs to be done apart from what you've already done in sp5 plus there are different skill sets required as i said sp5 is a more base level subject so it is more technical precision where you have to know the nitty gritties of every product the nitty gritties of every situation of every kind of asset liability management but in sa7 you will need to the questions that you will see they will focus more on your strategic thinking they are not going to be very straightforward questions they're going to focus more on how you are applying those things in real life situations for example any particular uh, investor let's say an, let's say a pension fund how you are going to uh, form a strategy for that pension fund so that x y z needs are met the nature of their liabilities you will have to do an analysis for them and then give recommendations with pros as well as cons of what kind of investment strategy can they apply what kind of products what kind of assets should they invest their surplus funds in of course it requires a lot of disciplined time management since you will have to do both at the same time you need to manage your time well in order to ensure that you're completing the curriculum for both as well as solving past papers and doing a lot of practice questions for sp5 as well as sa7 as both of them will have different kinds of questions your answer content might be similar but how you are forming your answers how you are putting your points across will differ so that part of it is going to be different for both the papers